Now we're going to listen to Sten Stenbeck and how he uh, and his team uh, intend to tackle this challenge. Thank you, Ludwig. <coughs> Good morning, everybody. Morning. Nice to see you here and uh, nice to see that you are still, still here, <laughs> even for me. Uh, okay, I'm representing the, um, the team from SP, the Technical Research Institute of Sweden. And uh, we are also doing a microgrid project uh, on Andaman Islands. And uh, we are looking at a smart fossil free microgrid on Andaman. And uh, I'm the one uh, project manager for, from SP Technical Research Institute. And we are then also, as the other ones, looking at a renewable energy microgrid system based on solar, wind, and biogas. Uh, but we are also actually looking into the possibility of using a direct current uh, system parallel to an AC uh, alternate current system. This to, to maximize efficiency and, and actually make it more robust. Um, so that the, the direct current is really an innovative way of, of uh, distributing the energy and make it more uh, robust. So, and we also, of course, have a focus on, on sustainability uh, when it comes to ecological uh, perspective and social perspective and economical aspect perspectives. And we really are looking into a partnership with a local strong uh, partner called Debray Technical College in Port Blair. Just to mention a little bit where SP, what that is, because uh, the headquarters is on the east co uh, west coast of Sweden, but uh, we have about 1,500 employees and we are a governmentally 100% owned research and innovation institute of Sweden. Um, so uh, our purpose of work is to be a, a collaboration partner between the um, the research institute, the research uh, schools like the KTH and, and Lund University and all kinds of universities, but also working with industry directly in big calls for innovation projects. Uh, we work in the field of research testing and calibration, for instance, very much uh, have a mix between market focus and innovation focus. Um, our Team partners in this project uh, are several Swedish companies, small, medium-sized enterprises. We have the Metrum company, Metrum uh, Systems. They have a special kind of metering, uh, smart metering uh, equipment. We have biogas systems that have provide a very uh, smart and good uh, biogas from landfill. We, they have a special technology to really have good output from, from landfills. We have Affectus. Uh, they, they are very advanced billing systems and smart metering systems uh, where they provide uh, very efficient ways of, of quickly getting good billing systems. We have uh, Ferramp, which is also a, a, a company that deals with direct current and alternate current systems, how they mix and how you actually um, work with loads and, and, and power. So it's a, that's a, more like a system company putting together a system. And we have Clean Energy, Clean Energy which is a company uh, working with a Stirling engines, how you go from heat to power in a very effective way. So they both have solar dishes where they concentrate the power into and then uh, the heat and then you can go through a, a Stirling engine, or you can also do the same thing with biogas. And then we have Net Power Labs, which is a company working with direct current, specialized in direct current systems. And we have Terok. Terok is the technical coordinator for our project. Uh, they put together these kind of systems, really. Today they are actually inaugurating uh, a green building, um, uh, isolated, uh, off-grid building in, in Stockholm here. And then we have a, a company called Inclusive Business, specialized in how do you match southern perspective companies with north perspective companies, Sweden, India. Okay, we have a partnership with Debreit Technical College in Port Blair on Andaman Islands. Port Blair is the, is the capital of, of uh, Andaman Islands, as you know, perhaps. Um, 
and the Breit, Dr. B.R. M. Bepkar Institute of Technology. Uh, they work, this is a meeting I have with the, with the principal there. Uh, it's a local strong partner. Uh, they have high skills and knowledge of renewable energy, smart grids and local conditions. Uh, they are a very good resource for us for testing and verification. They are very interested in going into this and to partner with us. Uh, they are actually at this moment creating a green building uh, within their campus where we are going to put in and test our uh, direct current systems and smart metering systems. Uh, it's going to be a building with 30 kilowatts um, solar, and, uh, but also smart metering. So that's a very interesting project that we are doing together uh, already now. Uh, also, Port Blair is actually, I mean, uh, De Breit is actually the, the local partner assisting the electricity department in smart billing, and it, or actually in billing. They are actually assisting the electri electricity department in the billing. So now, together with uh, the future engineers of, of Andaman Islands, we are now going to co-generate and co-create a smart metering system together with them for the whole of Andaman Islands. Uh, but we are going to do it first of all within the Braid College to just uh, demonstrate it. And it's also nice to see that the students are very interested in developing skills and concepts for the Andaman Islands. Of course, they are the future of Andaman Islands. I had a lecture for them around uh, what we are doing and they are very, very, very engaged and, and uh, well, it was about like uh, three times as many people as you here in this room in a big ola on, on, uh, in Port Blair. That was very interesting to meet all these people. Okay, so this is uh, a quick uh, system look. You can see there is the green uh, direct current uh, system and then you have the red alternate current system. I don't go into that too much. But um, just to say that we are, our focus is really to look at Rutland Island to put uh, with Debreit, together with Debreit, to develop this kind of uh, uh, smart direct current system and AC system on Rutland Island. We are also looking into um, uh, the landfill of Port Blair uh, to create uh, power out of that into the grid, uh, which is uh, it has quite some capacity, that, that landfill. So we think that it could even be like 15 years uh, of, of, even if they close down the landfill, we are, I think that the biogas system will keep on generating power for quite some time, like 10 to 15 years. Uh, so like all the other teams here today, we are here to do a feasibility study. That's the whole thing of this. And we are also creating an implementation plan but also looking to make all this replicable. So we do a replicable system for, together with Debreit, and then uh, it's gonna be replicable to, to all of the islands around. But also prob probably together with the other consortia, I think it's gonna be very interesting to develop uh, microgrids, smart microgrids on Andaman Islands. Thank you.